this video is about how to find particular solution given the derivative. Uh, this is a page number seven in your packet. Basic antiderivative and um, general solutions and particular solutions. So what is a differential equation? Differential equation is an equation that has a derivative in it. So you can say this is a differential equation because it describes derivative. Solving differential equation involves finding the original function from which we have the derivative. So what is the difference between general solutions and particular solutions? General solutions is a family of curve. We call it with plus C. Particular solution is you are given initial conditions and you find the value of C that will be a particular solution. So I'm going to explain a couple of examples here. F prime of X is equal to 3X square. So we know that f prime is dy dx, which is 3x square. So I can different separate this dy is equal to 3x square dx. Later in a chapter, we are going to solve differential equation and I'm just going to jump start here. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So this is the free response question kind of question where you will have to separate the variables and then you solve the equation. So if I set multiply both sides by dx, so I get this equation dy is equal to 3x squared dx, which we have seen in the previous unit. Now if I find the entire derivative on both sides, there is no number. So I can say there is a 1. So that will give me y. This side 3 is at, as it is entire derivative of x square using a power rule is x cube over 3 and c. So this is my general solution x cube plus c. This is called general solution. Another alternative way is many times students make connection straight away that if this is f prime of x, what will be f of x, which I can do the entire derivative in my head is a 3 times x cube over 3 plus c, you get the same answer. They both are same. So these are general solution. What is a particular solution? Particular solution, you are given a condition that f of 2 is negative 3. You have to use this to find the C. So that means negative 3 is equal to 2 to the third plus C. I can simplify this if I want. So negative 3 is 8 plus C. C is negative 11. And my particular solution is Y is equal to which you can also say F of X is equal to x cube minus 11 this is my particular solution it's a very simple lesson here where you do the entire derivative but you write with a c and there is always initial condition given to you which will help you to find the particular solution so let's take a look at um, a couple of more example here this is a very similar to one i'm giving you the answer for this i want you to try yourself it is very simple one this will be my answer um, that's also very similar one i'm going to give you the answer for this i want you to try yourself i will explain a little bit more complicated problem minus, i think x square plus 2x minus 7 this is the answer for these two examples so let me explain what happens if you have to do the process twice, twice. So for this case, f prime prime of x is equal to 2. So we have to go two-step equation. This is a, so I can say f prime of x is equal to 2x plus c. f prime of x is 2x plus c. Now I'm going to use this information to find this C, which will give me 1 is equal to 2 times 4 plus C, 
and I will have C is negative 7. So I can write f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 7. And now I start the process again one more time. If f prime of x is 2x minus 7, what will be f of x? f of x is going to be 2 x squared over 2 minus 7x plus another c. You are just writing c. c plus c is another c. So this is because we already solved for c. So we start all over. Using this information, I'm going to find that c, which will be 2 is equal to negative 1 squared is 1. 7 times negative 1 is positive 7 plus c. So I will have this c is 8 and two, this c is negative 6. So my final answer is f of x equal to x squared minus 7x minus 6. Just repeat the process twice. So I'm going to give you answer for this is going to be f of x is one third x cubed. You have to repeat the process. And the c value is a, a fraction. So that's your, I'm oh, sorry. That's your equation. So try your best to see, understand what is a particular solution, what is a general solution. Um, again, we are going to do this formally later in the next chapter, but uh, understanding is the, what is the difference between general solution, particular solution. You can do two different ways here. You can separate the variable. Now, some of you says, why I didn't write C here? When you do the antiderivative, y plus c, let's say if I write another c, but then I can say the both cannot be the same. So I can say c1 and c2, but the c is just the constant. So c1 plus c2 is another c. So here all those constants are just going to be uh, another constant. If you add two c's, that's another c. So I have always a, a very fun way to say that this is the c of c's and they all combine to single C. Uh, okay, have a fun on this. Again, you should know what this means. And I don't want you to do the, submit the homework, but you can practice the homework problems. Uh, there are some more practice problems on, some of you already tried those. So try those questions here. Uh, if you are interested for these answers, let me give you the answers. I'm sure some of you are going to try that. So this answer is x squared plus 2x minus 10. Number 26 is x of x equal to x cubed over 3 minus plus 7. Uh, let's uh, I give you this answer. Is negative 4x to the half plus 3x plus 1. This is really interesting problem. I'm giving you intermediate step for this as well. f prime of x is equal to sine x plus 2. And f of x is going to be negative cosine x plus 2x. You can see derivative 2x cosine and the uh, C value is negative 2 pi minus 2. This is your C value. So this is your page number 9. This is again page number 9. There are four problems. You can try for extra practice. And uh, any question concerned, feel free to contact me. Thank you so much.